Okay, so we have um, Grace Min and Liz Crossing, who are both women <laughs> studies majors. I joined uh, with the women's studies group or the women's studies program after my first horrid, hard year of um, as a biology major. Nothing about biology students or anything. It was just not for me. And I took one women's studies class. I think it was 003. And um, it was amazing. I mean, the things that you learn in that class, in that one one class, just only a semester, but it just really opened my eyes to a lot of a lot of things. A lot of things that I didn't realize I was interested in until I took this class. And now I'm um, a senior graduating uh, with the Women's Studies Bachelor of Science degree. And uh, where will it take me? Well, hopefully a lot of different places. But um, I just think um, it's an amazing program, and it just does get better than this. I mean, I came to Penn State knowing that I wanted to do women's studies, um, and then I decided that, like, I got worried that um, I would be confined to academia, so I took on a sociology major as well. However, now I do want to go into academia, um, but you don't only have to do that with women's studies. It's just that, I don't know, this has given me passion to kind of be a lifelong student. But, um, I don't know, I think that a lot of people believe that women's studies is either uh, ridiculous or supplementary to other things, and I think that it has given me a, amazing critical thinking skills, um, it's given me, I don't know, the way that I take any other course is shaped by women's studies. You don't, I mean, I just don't think that you can leave it behind. Like, it, I've learned more in those classes and I feel more connected with that department than any of my, than my other majors, so. Grace, I know that you have combined women's studies with a nutrition minor. Yes. And so are you interested in that connection between women's studies and... Of course. So, well, um, how that's connecting is um, I'm really into women's health, and I'd really want to be a, a nurse practitioner one day, uh, focus on the women's health and more of a uh, approach to holistic medicine and focusing on nutrition. Um, and it's just, it's so odd because it pairs so well. And um, I just think if you're going to tackle any type of women's issues, whether it be, you know, in the private, public sphere, you know, all sorts of different theories, it's just really important to know the foundations of, um, I think, the issues women are facing today and then being able to, you know, take on whatever you're learning at the time, you know, whatever you're interested in, in my uh, case, nutrition, and being able to apply that to, you know, what I want to do and how I want to work with women. So.